The legal teams on both sides of this case will be under intense public scrutiny. One attorney in Florida has particular insight into what the defense will face in the coming months. Reveal investigator Andy Parati talked to Mark O'Meara, who defended George Zimmerman in the 2012 shooting death of Trayvon Martin, another unarmed black man. Andy, he says there are some marked differences. Cheryl, O'Meara tells me the video capturing Aubrey's death sets it apart from the Zimmerman case that had no such evidence. But that's not the only challenge the defense will be up against. The criminal defense attorney says the McMichael legal teams should be prepared for a barrage of bogus stories circulating on social media before and during the trial. It became such a concern for his law firm, he got special permission from the Florida bar and a judge to create a website, Facebook page, and a Twitter account to respond to disinformation. By the time this case gets to trial, there will be no one who doesn't know about the McMichaels case, just like Zimmerman. Uh, the problem with it is that what they know about the case is not going to be particularly accurate. A lot of people want to be on that camera. They like the Klieg lights. They want to have their moments of fame. And they'll come up with outrageous stories. They'll come up with evidence that they make up. Amara and the attorneys representing the McMichaels have urged the public to wait for all of the facts to surface before making any judgments. Cheryl? Andy, trials like this bring up such strong emotion in the community. Did he talk about how that emotion plays into how an attorney is able to handle the case? Cheryl, it did. Some of those emotions turning into actual threats. Amara says that law enforcement investigated about 2,500 credible threats made to he and his staff during the Zimmerman trial. Now, coming up at 11 o'clock on Uplit, hear the advice that he would give to the McMichael legal team. 